You're going to start seeing a lot more traditional desktop PCs around. Why is that? It's because of virtual reality. Those big new headsets, the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive uh, require desktop PCs. 99.9% .9 of laptops will not work with them. Of course, with that comes VR sticker shock. Of course, the headsets are expensive. $599 for an Oculus, $799 for a Vive. And chances are you're going to need to buy an entirely new gaming-ready PC for for it. Well, Oculus at least says they're going to find you a configuration that works for as little as $999. So if you're looking for that $999 Oculus Ready PC, here it is. It's the Dell XPS 8900 Special Edition. It's regularly $1199, frequently discounted, but if you get it in conjunction with an Oculus Rift headset, even go back and buy it after the fact, they give you a $200 off coupon that gets you down to the $999. Now, here's the catch. This is the low end of the Oculus recommended specs. It's an Intel Core i5 processor. It's an NVIDIA 970 desktop graphics card, although a 970 desktop graphics card is still plenty fast for playing, uh, you know, regular PC games today, uh, just casual gaming. It actually looks great playing at 1920 by 1080. You can crank a lot of even new games like Fallout 4 up to Ultra. Feels fantastic. But VR is going to be very challenging. Uh, we ran two VR tests on this. Uh, Valve has their own is it ready for VR test. We ran that and we got a cautiously optimistic score out of it. It does meet the minimum specs. Oculus has their own test. We ran that one also. That just gives you kind of a thumbs up, thumbs down. And because this system was built specifically with Oculus in mind, uh, it gets the thumbs up from Oculus there. Just be aware, you're buying a VR system on the low end of the recommended VR specs, so I can't guarantee it's going to stay fresh uh, for the second or third generation of really ambitious VR games. That's the Dell XPS 8900 Special Edition.